New tonight, Denver parks are dealing with a foul problem. Park goers say geese are taking over, and some experts agree that the goose population is larger than it's ever been. CBS 4's Mark Taylor talked to Colorado Parks and Wildlife, joins us live now at Washington Park with Mobile 4 tonight. Mark? Well, Karen, geese at city parks are nothing new, with tens of thousands of them migrating through the front range every year. But the problem is some just aren't leaving. And with more numbers, they're creating more problems. They're commonly seen, heard, and smelt in nearly all Denver parks. Year-round, all the time. They're always coming and going, landing. It certainly seems the geese population has dramatically increased over the last few years. Stay. Stay. Enter Tim Eubank, who runs Stay. up and away goose control. Days, you ready? Shh, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> who says business this year is up, way up. We're really starting to see a problem with the resident geese. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says it's nearly impossible to keep track of the ever-changing goose population, but they have noticed the number of resident geese is growing, likely due to our mild climate. The resident geese, you'll notice, they're much larger. Right now, Denver Parks does not allow the use of Eubanks' team of border collies, but relies on robot goosenators, which keep the geese moving. The Border Collie is one of the few dogs that will actually drop their shoulders like an Arctic fox, their number one predator up in Canada. But Eubanks believes the rules should change, a move the city of Cheyenne has recently made and has even bought one of Eubanks' dogs, who are trained to only chase and never bite. And they will not touch them under any circumstance. Either way, the growing number of geese has city officials' attention, and both sides agree it's one that needs addressing. The more we can reduce human goose conflict, the better for the goose, the better for humans. Now, there's only a few weeks left to possibly work on moving geese because come April 1st, the state does not allow the hazing of geese as they may be nesting until August. Then the state may use other processes such as sterilizing eggs. Live in Denver, Mark Taylor, CBS 4 News. All right, Mark, thank you.